Hi, my beautiful family, and welcome to this video. Today, I'm going to review this palette. This is Dominic Cosmetics Berries and Cream Palette. This is a very, very nice palette, and this is my first time trying anything from this brand. This is how the packaging looks like, and this is cruelty free. You get a nice big mirror in here, and here is all the shades. I've been playing around with this palette a couple of days and this is one of the makeup looks that are created with this palette and in this video you're going to see three different makeup looks this one and two more they are very easy to do very easy to make and uh, I really really like this palette if you're interested to know exactly what I think about this palette what I think about the the eyeshadows the packaging then what the whole video right now you're going to see me applying these eyeshadows and at the end of the video i'm going to tell you what i think so enjoy and keep on watching i'm walking alone the streets are empty and I can see is my own silhouette I'm getting stronger Step by step The clock is ticking But there's no time for me I've been flying from town to town
Never reminding, never taking Whatever you told me I know what I could be Making the most of pentacle and so tell me Is this what you made me?
liked some of those makeup looks that I created and let me down below which one is your favorite but I really really like this one though this blue wasn't really easy to work with so let me just tell you what I think about the product really like the packaging it's stunning I really like the shade range I think it's an amazing shade range I think you can create so many makeup looks beautiful makeup look makeup looks with this palette but they are not the easiest eyeshadows to work with. Some of them are a little bit hard to work or blend, especially this blue one and this one. You do need to blend a lot. This one, this brown was also a little bit tricky to work with. And I think this one that I had in my crease, that was very easy to use. Shimmery shades are very, very nice. They're a little bit powdery. I had some fallout but nothing that bothers me or nothing that kind of makes me not want to use this palette. But it's not really beginner friendly. You do need to spend, and also not a palette that you can just pick out, pick out and create a very fast makeup look. You do need to spend some time blending. 
But is it a bad palette? No, it's not. It's if it worth the money? Yes, it is. I think it's a stunning palette, and I found every shade beautiful. Do I recommend it? Of course, but just have in mind that you do need to kind of work a little bit more with this palette than the others. So, guys, if you like this video, don't forget to hit that like button. Don't forget to subscribe and. Hit that notification bell so you get notified every time I upload a new video. I hope you like this video. I hope you find uh, some of these eyeshadow or eyeshadow makeup look very interesting and that you're going to create maybe with this palette or another palette. But thank you so much for watching. Let me know down below what you think and I hope I see you in my next video. I love you all. Bye.